Welcome. I'm going to show you how to get a free Apple computer. Wait, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, hello. Come on in. with my friend Evan here. Yay. <laughs> so but I'm going to ask him how he lives here in New York City with a very, very tight budget. Okay? That's so, right. So yeah Evan, so tell us how is it? Okay, so you can live in New York City if you need to on a really tight budget and not have to spend tons of money. As you can kind of see here, it's a kind of it's a new looking apartment. The secret is It's just a renovated apartment in an older building. So you have to look. Now, what you want to look for is a rent that's affordable. So for a true one bedroom and a fully renovated place, you can get this for about $1,600 in Brooklyn. Wow. So you're going to want to look kind of out on the outskirts, maybe Bensonhurst, um, Midwood, or Yeah, there's a like lot that. of apps for that, right? Exactly. You, you have to look at a lot. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So this took probably three months to find this place. Yes. Wow. That's and it was crazy. found by mistake, actually. <laughs> yeah. Mistake? Wow. Yes. I looked at a different unit in the same building that wasn't this nice. So um, more and more people are renovating their apartments. These landlords' buildings are really old, and they want to get a little bit more rent. But here in Brooklyn still. Here in Brooklyn still. Wow. That's yes. crazy. Yeah, you need to invest more time um, looking for an apartment. like. So don't rush it, and I would say out of probably the 25 apartments I looked at, this one was the most renovated mm -hmm. with everything brand new. So I was the first person to live in this unit cool. since it was renovated. It's worth it. It's worth it. 1600 that's, 1600 that's perfect. That's really perfect. And that includes heat and hot water. What? What? Yes. Heat and Wow, that's amazing. Which is it's pretty standard in in the New York City but, market, but still. So the neighborhood yeah. outside is really cool too. Yeah, it's a quiet neighborhood. So the positives, Brooklyn, you can save money. The negatives, it takes me about uh, 50 minutes by train mm -hmm. to get to, say, Times Square. Times Square, yeah. yeah, Or an hour or something like that. It, it could depends. be, yeah. When, it, when it's crazy rush hour, yes, it could be an hour. <laughs> And you're standing for the entire 50 minutes. But uh, again, like, but yes, the money you're gonna save, yeah, it's worth standing. It's, it's a lot, yeah, it's a lot. Plus, I save. get it on the Apple Watch that. I <laughs> yes, you have an Apple Watch. Like, hours. You gotta like tell us like like the budget, like. Absolutely. So, uh, quick breakdown for just living uh, apartment, all the expenses that come along with it. Um, it can cost you pretty much twenty-one thousand a year total. So let's do a quick breakdown. That's yes. sixteen hundred dollars is the rent, and again, that includes your heat and hot water. Yeah, hot water yeah. um, then you have electric, which electric is on average about forty-three bucks a month. Forty-three dollars. Okay. I, you can also, and I found out I was for a couple of years. I didn't realize I was on this payment plan for the electric where it's always the same amount every month what and so i called him i said hey why is my bill always the same amount and go <laughs> oh yeah you shouldn't have that but if you use a lot of electricity okay. it's beneficial because uh -huh. then you're always paying the same so on average uh, i'm at about 43 a month 43? if you take all 12 months and, and divide it uh-huh what else is your expense then you have uh cooking gas which this is also a common thing in new york city for the gas so if you have an apartment and you don't want to pay 20 but want to pay 19 just never be home and you'll be fine <laughs> rent, rent somewhere else <laughs> um, so that's so yeah so we have rent at 16 electric at figure about 43 mm -hmm. uh gas cooking gas 20 and then uh you have cable or wi-fi now yeah, wi -Fi. i personally i choose just to do wi-fi i'm not watching cable um, I have Amazon Prime, Netflix, Hulu. Okay. Uh, Hulu came free, free with my Spotify. With your Spotify, yeah, I know yeah. that. Uh, there's um. YouTube, which I'm addicted to YouTube. I watch 
I think I watch more YouTube than I watch news. So I can unclog a drain. I can. Uh, <laughs> That's the one that you've been watching. I can watching. watch a camera in the middle of the woods, and I can watch some guy build a container castle. <laughs> And a, and a farmer. Um, so that's about it. So pretty much all those expenses, just Wi-Fi, electric, gas, and rent. That's about so for a year. Uh, so that's like, a lot of money. Now, if I was to go to Manhattan and get something similar that looks like this place in the size, yeah, exactly. I mean, I just rent alone is going to be a, you know, on a good day, let's call it twenty five hundred, thirty five hundred. Yeah, that's that's too much. Yeah, yeah like, and, and even Williamsburg is the same thing. Williamsburg's like. 2500 I saw a one one bedroom inside someone's apartment for rent for 1600 a month in Williamsburg Holy that's wow. a bedroom in someone else's apartment that you're renting $1,600 <laughs> a month yeah they're high luxury I, but again you're just <laughs> renting a closet exactly, or a bedroom so exactly. it's, I don't know <laughs> that's you know, you know how New York City is with all the roommates too so exactly. those situations do happen and you know so you can say you live in Williamsburg 1600 bucks for one bedroom, I guess. But before, remember before, Williamsburg are not that expensive. Until yeah, Williamsburg was full of woodworking shops and industrial places, and a lot of my old customers, their locations are now bars and beer gardens, so. Oh yeah, beer gardens, oh my Go god, figure. that's awesome. Yeah. You know, some other little expenses that I do have, um, you know, I do have a car, and so I car, car payment and insurance, so don't do that because it's really expensive, but I'm not smart and I like cars. <laughs> so if you are coming to the city and you don't have a car or don't want a car, which is kind of one of the benefits, the train station where I live is a block and a half. So where do we start, Evan? Start at the bathroom. Okay, let's go start in the bathroom. So here's the fully renovated bathroom with a nice faux marble. Small bathroom, typical New York City style. Then we have this closet here. So it's kind of a useless little hallway, but it does a trick. And actually right there where you first came in, really big closet. And don't mind my messy closet, but ta-da. And then into a really nice open area. And into this bedroom. For New York City standards, this is a pretty good sized bedroom. Uh, definitely utilize all the storage space, the bed, yes, cool. good closet system. So this is a little odd. This apartment didn't have a closet, so I just went to IKEA and I I built this closet system. Simple enough. And then of course a view of nothing. <laughs> but I wouldn't expect anything more. Here is the living room, which I like the open concept because it makes a small place feel a little bit bigger. Um, and also when I'm cooking, I can watch TV, which is nice. And you can entertain friends and guests while you're in the kitchen. So just a couple things, you know, you can make places really nice, but also on a budget. So real quick point out, Amazon, Amazon. TV Amazon, TV stand Amazon, chairs Amazon, plant holder Ikea, I think this is Ikea, Ikea Mira, and then Amazon is all the decorations on the wall. Funny story about this thing, this little nail piece, uh, I got it free from Amazon because it was delivered twice and it was broken, so after I got two broken ones, and really it was a lot of these little pieces were bent. What? So I called Amazon and said, hey, I keep getting this thing broken, what are we going to do? And they actually, they let me keep the one that I felt was easiest to fix, refunded all my money, and I fixed it. You can see this one's a little bent, but I, you know, whatever. <laughs> For idiots like myself who are going to complain about it, that was me. Um, so yeah, that was free. Most of this stuff was super cheap. The couch came, there was a little damage on the box that actually scratched the back. So they took a couple hundred bucks off the couch. Uh, the table was fine, but it was still like, a good deal on it. TV stand had a missing piece and there was a little chip somewhere in the corner. So again, 50 to 70 bucks off on that. TV was brand new, but it was, I think a season old. So the TV, 55 inch smart TV, I bought it smart. For 159 bucks. 
And then the best part about this apartment that I like, that took me a while to figure out, was turning my fire escape into an outdoor patio. I can hang out and have an outdoor space. And I have this huge fire escape. By Ikea, little Ikea tiles, table and chair set. So I made it like a wooden patio. <gasps> Amazing. I didn't... And that is my New York City apartment on the budget. Hi guys, so um, I had a great time interviewing Evan. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information that I thought of later. Uh, first, uh, Evan's uh, place is really close to Coney Island. It's 13 minutes drive. Uh, Coney Island, there's actually a lot of things to do in there. There's like beach and a lot of rides. Uh, my favorite ride in there is the Cyclone Roller Coaster. <laughs> <laughs> and there's actually a museum and an aquarium there too. So, and um, second one, um, the Prospect Park, which is 10 minutes um, away from his place too. There's, um, it's actually a smaller version of Central Park. There's also a tennis court in there, and a lot during summer, a lot of people like run and bike. Yeah, and. Third is the restaurants. Uh, restaurants around around this place, uh, around this neighborhood. There's like a good restaurants there, and there's a lot of different foods to eat from a different culture too, which is very close. Uh, grocery shopping, two big grocery shopping. Um, he mentioned uh, close to his place. It's like a block away, close to the train station too. So overall, for me, uh, Brooklyn is a great place to live and a lot of stuff to do. It's very affordable too. I would definitely recommend it. And it's not too far from the city if you live in the city too. Um, very comfortable for me living there and they have a really great neighborhood and I'm definitely recommend it. So there you go guys. So if you have any other questions, just comment below. <laughs>